Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Keshwani. We are here because we want to improve our math skill. Starting from today, today is our lesson number 111. Starting from today, we'll do a series of 15 videos on the topic of work time problems. Today is our first one. The problem is already on the blackboard. Let's take a look at it. In the real exam, whether you're preparing for ACT, SAT, T, GMAT or GRE, in the real exam, when they present these problems to you, they present it in a little bit more convoluted way, a little bit more sophisticated way, they put in more information there. I'm just making it, I'm just presenting here the nub of the problem. On the blackboard, what we see is simply the nub of the problem. Here's what it says. We are told that A can do a job in four hours. We are further told that B can do the same job in five hours. In the exam it will say approximately how long will it take for them working together at their respective pace to, to finish the job. I'm leaving all of that out. It's understood, it's understood that they're working at their respective paces uh, and the question is how long will it take if they, if they were to work together to finish the job. There are two ways we can go about it. Okay, Listen very carefully. There are two ways we can go about it in the exam. One is what I would call the academic way, the orthodox way, the classical way, the traditional way, the nerdy way, the geeky way. There is nothing wrong with it, it's perfectly fine if that's the way you want to go. Other one is what I would call the quick and dirty way, where you just use your common sense, uh, just logical thinking, and see how far you can get. It doesn't mean that you will always necessarily be able to pinpoint the right answer, but many a times you can knock out two or three answer choices very easily just by doing some simple logical thinking. For example, here we are told that A does the job in four hours, we are told that B does the same job in five hours. Well, if, if, a and B were to work as fast as A, the job should take how long? Should take how long? We are told that A and A, A, A takes only four hours, B takes five hours. But if this is hypothetical, do you understand? If A and B were to work, that's why we are saying if they, if they were to work, it's purely hypothetical. How long should the job take? Well, in two hours, A can do half the job, and if B were to work at the same pace, in another two hours, B can do the other half of the job. In other words, if A and B were to work together, since A takes four hours and B will take four hours to do the job by, by himself, together they can do the entire job in two hours. Does it make sense to you? If they were to work at the same pace, if they were to work both, if they were both to work as fast as the fast guy, that's what we're saying. If they were both were to work as fast as the fast guy, they should be able to do the job in two hours. The question is, what does that tell us? It tells us that the correct answer, whatever it is, cannot possibly be less than two or two. It cannot be two hours, it cannot be anything less than two hours. Why can't it be two hours? Because they are not working, they are, they are, both of them are not working as fast as the fast guy. B, of course, is not working as fast as A. B takes five hours, B takes four hours. So obviously, in reality, the amount of time they will, they will take to finish the job will have to be something more than two hours. Which means if you find an answer twice, which is less than two or equal to two, it cannot possibly be the right answer. That tells us that we can kill A. If A and B were to work together, if A and B were to work as fast as A, the job should take two hours. That implies that we can kill, that implies that we can kill A. A is gone. It cannot be two hours. Now let's look at the other scenario. Now let's look at the other scenario. If A and B were to work as, as slow as B, as B, B remember takes five hours. The job should take, in that scenario, our, our two and a half hours. The job should take two and a half hours. Because in two and a half hours, B can do half the job, and in another two and a half hour, A will do another half of the job, if A were also to take five hours. If they were both were to work as slow as the slow guy. Which, what does that tell us? It tells us that the correct answer, whatever it is, cannot be more than two and a half hours it cannot be equal to it in a half hours because they are not working, the both of them are not working as slow as the slow guy. Which means they cannot possibly be, they cannot possibly ta uh, take more than two and a half hours or two and a half hours. What does that tell us? That implies, that implies here that we can kill, 
anything that is two and a half or more than two and a half. We can kill C, C is gone, that's two and a half, we can kill D, we can kill E. There you go, the answer is A. That's it, we are done. And of course in the real exam, this thinking that I just described to you should take no more than a few seconds. Should take no more than a few seconds. Just look at it. it the correct answer has to be between two and two and a half. Take half of that and half of that. Knock out anything that is, that is equal to two or less than two. Knock out anything that is equal to two and a half or more, more than two and a half. And you will see that in most cases, in most cases, you will narrow down your answer choices to maybe two in the worst case scenario, maybe three choices. Here we got lucky, there's only one answer choice left, which means we are done. The answer is B. Now we'll do the same problem in the classical way. But even the classical way that I'm about to describe to you, even the classical way is not as classical, it's not as traditional, it's not as orthodox as most people will do it. We'll do it a little bit differently. Here's what you do. So that's it. This is one method. We are done. The answer is B. We are done with that method. Let's do a second method. This guy takes four hours, this guy takes five hours. What is the least common multiplier? Least common multiplier here is 20. Because four times five is 20. So ask yourself, in 20 hours, in 20 hours, how many jobs can A do? A takes four hours. In 20 hours, A can do five jobs. A can do five jobs. Because it takes four hours. Therefore, if it takes four hours to do a job, in 20 hours, you can do five jobs. Similarly, in 20 hours, in 20 hours, B can do four jobs. You with me? That tells us that uh, they they can do they can do they can do nine jobs. They can do nine jobs in 20 hours. They don't have to do nine jobs. They only have to do one job. That implies that they can do one job in. 20 over 9, 20 over 9, let's do it here, 20 over 9, there are two 20s in 18, and once you take away 18, you're left with 2, so it's 2 and 2 and 2 9, 2 and 2 9, which is approximately, which is approximately 2 and 2 8. 2 and 2 9, the closest answer that you can find to 2 and 2 9 is not 2 and a, it's not going to be 2, it's not going to be because here, you see, it's, it's one quarter here, that's, two, that's right there. Two and two ninth. It's about, about two and a quarter. That's the closest one that comes. Two and a half is too far away. Two is too far away. And of course, the rest of them are too far away. Let's do one more, shall we? Let's do one more. Do the problem yourself, uh, pause the video as soon as I put it on the blackboard, try to do it yourself and once you have done it yourself then always this is what you want to do always and then compare your work with the work that you and I will do together in a few seconds time. Here is the second problem. We are told that A can do a job in 6 hours. We are told that A and B together a and B together can do can do the same job in four hours in four hours. How long how long will B take? working alone to do the job. Very straightforward scenario we are told that if you were to, if they were to work together they can finish up the job in four hours. If A were to work by himself he will take six hours. Question is based on this information how long do you suppose B will take to finish the job? Understand? Oh, it, uh, in, in the previous problem, I put down a word on the blackboard. I was going to take care of it. We never got around to it. Let's take care of it now since I'm thinking about it. The nub. N-U-M-N-U-B. We learned this word. We learned this word on day number 11. If you're interested in improving your vocabulary, just type in whichever exam that you're preparing for. Just type in GRE vocabulary words. 
GRE vocabulary words, day 11, or SAD vocabulary words, day 11, or GMAT vocabulary words, day 11. Just type in the name of the exam, vocabulary words, and the day number, and you will see the video where we learn the word NUB. NUB, N-U-B, NUB means the gist of something, the essence, the core, the central idea, the main theme. What I'm doing here on, is putting the word, uh, problem on the blackboard, not in its entirety, not as it will appear in the real exam, but simply the nub of the problem. I'm just leaving out all the, all the nitty-gritty details. We don't need any of that. This is very basic, very basic, very simple. A is taking six hours. Together they take four hours. How long will B, B take? If you were to do the job working at a constant pace, the same exact job to finish it. Pause the video, do it yourself. I'll give you five seconds to pause and then pause the video. Hola, here we go. We are told, we are told that together they take four hours. Ask yourself, in four hours, in four hours, they will finish the job. Let's ask ourselves, in four hours, how much job can A do? Well, A takes six hours to do the job. If A takes six hours, then in four hours, in four hours, A will do two-thirds of the job. A will do two-thirds of the job. If A is doing two-thirds of the job, that implies, that implies that B must do, must do a third of the job in four hours. In four hours, because working together they can finish it in four hours. If they were working together, they can finish it in four hours. And since A, we are told, takes six hours to finish the job by himself, in four hours he can do two-thirds, which means B must do the remaining of the job, the remaining one-third of the job, in the four hours that are given. Well, there you go. If he can do one-third of the job in four hours, that implies that B will take four times three, or twelve hours, twelve hours to do the job. B will take 12 hours to do the therapy. That's it. That's all. That's all for today. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. There is going to be a, there is going to be a few, total of 15 videos in this series. Today was the first one. Altogether, as I said, there are going to be 15 of them. If you're not good at these problems, if you need practice, make sure you do as many as you can. You understand? Bye now.